Got a little bit more of a personal video today, just something I want to share, my opinion, and that's all it is, an opinion. Uh, it's about basically supplement scams and what what's basically wrong, I feel, with the fitness industry. It has to do with misinformation. Let me set this shit up, and maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you'll disagree with me. It's a discussion, right? Uh, basically, I ran a protein powder. I thought I had more protein powder than I did. So. I decided to go to a supplement store and this is a big chain. It's a popular chain. I have not been in one of these for a very long time because I know what to expect. But I went inside because you know what, I'm just going to go in and out because I know what's going to happen. They're going to try and sell me some bullshit. I'm just going to go buy what I got to buy that's way overpriced, like two times overpriced what I should be paying and just get the fuck out. So that was my mentality when I went in there. Thing is, when you go inside there, there's so many fucking different type of like supplements and protein powders, you get lost. I'm like, I just want to buy some standard way. No, I don't want the one with faster absorption rate, none of that stuff. I just want to buy whey. So, I'm looking quickly on my yeah, da, 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 and that's where with my supersonic hearing, I heard uh, this dude, one of the employees of this place, trying essentially to sell this kid some overpriced whey. And his tagline that he was trying to tell the kid like why he should buy this, and it was like three times marked of the price. I, no, it's like four or five times. For five pounds, I think it was like $120 Canadian. It was insane. Yeah, not just making a face right now that's like, that's some whack shit. Anyway, so it was way overpriced, but the line he said, and this was a young kid, he was like 18 or whatever, just started training, he's like, yeah, this one's really good because it has BCAAs in it, right? Like, you should get this one. And so he's trying to sell them on this overpriced shit. Probably gets like some commission, who knows? Anyways, and I'm like thinking in my head, motherfucker, like every single protein powder has BCAAs in it, right? Isoleucine, leucine, and valine. They are just a component of protein. Uh, but anyways, that was his tagline, and I thought, you know what, okay, that's definitely misinformation. Maybe he's intentionally lying to try and sell it, or maybe he just doesn't know. Either or uh, of those situations is just not good. Anyways, I'm like, whatever y'all, I'm just gonna go check out this shit. And so I'm in line, there actually is a line because I guess it's that time of the year, everybody wants some gains. So I'm waiting in the line, and that's when I heard a second conversation. Two bros were talking, and one bro was to the other, the more experienced, yo, do you take uh, creatine? And the guy literally said, I shit you not. Uh, I wanna stay all natural. No, I don't take creatine. Plus, I heard if you don't cycle it properly, then it makes you fat and bloated. And I'm just like, dude, like, what the hell? Now, this is just clear misinformation. He doesn't know. He's not trying to purposely lie and spread, you know, misinformation. I'm like, okay, BCAAs, now this creatine thing. Finally, when I was at checkout, the cashier, she tried to upsell me on some stuff that was clearly bunk. So, Overall, the experience got me mad because I think to myself, you know, I see like videos, I see us like posting content on YouTube, and everybody's like, yeah, we know, one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Shut the fuck up already. Like, we know you don't have to make a video on it, right? You made like 19 videos on squats. <laughs> but when you see the average fitness person out there, there's so much bad information, and I tend to forget this. And honestly, it makes me a little bit jaded to know that. Even though there's a lot of good work being done in the online fitness community, right? A lot of people making some really solid content. And the overall fitness IQ, I think, in the last several years has certainly gone up a whole lot. A lot more work needs to be done because this misinformation is spreading and it's something that's still persistent. And unless we try and reach out to the masses, unless we try and affect change through information, it'll always remain there. So, here was my problem, right? My problem is that these supplement companies purposely, they know for sure, like there are no studies supporting what they're saying. A lot of the stuff is just bunk, right? They can exaggerate a little bit. It's marketing, right? They'll just say, oh, it's marketing, guys. Like we're just trying to sell things and like blah, blah, blah. But it's misinformation and then people get a false impression of what works, what doesn't. They overspend on things. They get a, a false sense of what something can do. Maybe then they get uh, disappointed. They get a little like uh, uh, jaded and then they like peace out of training. Who knows, right? Because they think, oh, if I want to get big like this dude, I got to take these supplements. And so they purposely keep people in the dark. Anytime you try and remove true information, right? Yeah. On the internet, we can just call bullshit. Like someone makes a video, it's incorrect. Hell, we call it out. Me personally, like I try to always be better. I'm not saying that I provide 100% accurate information. I could be wrong, but I think it to be correct. And if I stand corrected, then I make that correction and I, you know, move forward. With supplement companies, they know they're wrong. They purposely try and suppress real information. And so they keep people naive in order to sell them this stuff. So it's a little bit of an eye opener for me, uh, just because, you know, I'm on the internet and we make these videos and everybody knows everything on the internet. So it's like, you know, 
you just think that this fitness IQ has evolved so much, but then you can remind, you can be reminded easily sometimes, you know, yes, we've traveled far, we made some gains, some good content's definitely getting out there, but we got a whole lot more work to do. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that story. I felt bad for that kid. I'm like, I'm not gonna intervene. That's not my place. But like people spending too much money, uh, that level of misinformation or lack of information, right, and promoting things that simply don't work in order to make a buck, I think is not cool. I don't have a problem with trying to make money, but you have to do it in a way that you're comfortable with, right? Supporting something that you truly believe in. Do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. I basically just wanted to get this off my chest, so I made this. Uh, if you like the video and support it, make sure to like the damn video. Thank you so much for watching. I got some content on the way that's going to be really cool, some features. I'm going to be on vacation for about two weeks, but the content's still going to flow, so make sure to check back. That's it, guys. I'll be seeing all you guys. <laughs> That's the video, guys. I'll be seeing all my rascals in the next video.